Wakawama Prefecture, Hashimoto City. The Kinokawa River flows through the center of the city and blesses it with abundant nature. This town, which still retains an old tiny look, has a special nickname. The Hera Fishing Rod Town. Hera fishing rods are specially made to catch Japanese carp. This way of waiting patiently at the water's edge to catch the Japanese carp is a form of still fishing. However, depending on the weather, they also use bait. They are trying to line up the hook to the fish's mouth. It is an extremely difficult form of fishing, and it is also highly popular because of its various strategies and tactics employed. And what makes it all possible is this traditional handcrafted tool. The Kisu, Hera Fishing Rod. There is a young man trying to pass the tradition along to the next generation. The Fishing Rod Craftsman, Hideki Tatsukawa. Mr. Tatsukawa was born in 1980 in Nara Prefecture's Tenri City. He has been completely absorbed by fishing since his childhood. He has always wanted to have a fishing-related job, so he enrolled in a vocational school where he could learn about the world of fishing. But after graduating, he couldn't find the job he always wanted, and temporarily gave up on that path. Nonetheless, he could not throw away his feelings for fishing, and one day, he decided to apply as an apprentice under his current teacher. すごい技術で作られてるって憧れのものなんで教えてもらえるんやったらすごいなと思ってお願いに来ました。Kisu Hera fishing rods are Japanese style rods made from natural bamboo. They present a peculiar look and are made with exceptional material and with advanced techniques spanning 100 years. Beautiful bamboo rods such as this are also extremely valuable as works of art. This rod was made by the teacher, Hideo Yo. He was taught by his father who had the great commander as a nickname, and he has devoted his life to fishing rods. だから、やっぱり魚が下へ向いてるのか上へ向いてるのか左へ向いてるのか魚の微妙な動き左へも Considering the future of Hera fishing rods, he has taken on three students, including Mr. Tatsukawa. At times he is tough, and at other times he may treat them like his own sons. But he will make sure to nurture them into great fishing rod artisans. 何一つ文句を言わずにね、下を向いてでも歯を食い縛ってでもね、一つずつの努力をしていくというね、粘り強い性格はものすごいそういう性格なんですよ。うん。それがもう一番お前の江戸くらいだからって。よし、わかりました。
After finishing his work with his teacher, he works on his ultimate masterpieces. It is another step towards independence. He is making the three sections of the rod, the handle, the tip support, and the tip. First, he has to choose the wood to be used. Kisuuhero rods are made with three different kinds of bamboo, arrow, koa, and madake bamboo. By combining these three you will get the highest flexibility. With that kind of flexibility, fishers are able to lift the fish up naturally without exhaustion. In Japanese carp fishing, returning your catch is essential. He will first choose the wood for the handle and the tips to support. He judges each piece of bamboo by its hardness, flexibility, and overall balance. The properties of the bamboo he chooses will directly reflect on the finished product. Therefore, at this stage mistakes cannot be tolerated. Once he has gathered the bamboo, he moves on to the bamboo kindling process. This stage is Mr. Tatsukawa's biggest challenge. He gets a fire going and soaks the bamboo in charcoal. Then he begins to correct and straighten any curvatures. Additionally, by heating the bamboo, he tightens up the fibers and makes the wood more elastic. He has to keep adjusting the temperature of the fire and the force he applies to the bamboo. If he doesn't do it properly, the curvature will eventually return. This process will greatly determine the quality of the fishing rod. That's why it's said to be the life of a fishing rod craftsman. This tool is called Tamegi, and it is made by the craftsman itself. It is compatible with any kind of bamboo, by changing the angle and thickness of each hole. The kindling process requires delicate senses. He fits it into his hand and the tamegi, which houses his soul, begins to interact with the bamboo. He barges in on Mr. Tatsukawa and begins to check his work. He observes the results of all his training. The teacher pushes the back of his hard-working apprentice. After this, Mr. Tatsukawa's new name will be engraved into his fishing rod. Now he will move on to the inside carving process. The inside of the bamboo stick has to be emptied so the tip can fit into the handle. He chooses one of 50 different tools. Each tool has only a 3 mm difference from the next. These were also made by the Finnish rod artisans themselves. これで、
After doing that, he will engrave his own name into the rod. Every fishing rod artisan has its own special name. The teacher inherited this name from his father, who also carries it. Ruosu Hideosaku. After going off on his own, Mr. Tatsukawa's teacher awarded him the name of Tensu. Now he engraves that name with feelings of determination, not as an apprentice, but as a single artisan. さあ、一番初めはなんか恥ずかしいかと思ってたんですけど、サオシは自分の感銘は自分のブランドなんで、いいさを作っていれば、その自分の感銘の価値が上がっていきますんで、親方につけてもらった名前を使ってやっていくの
which is known to be flexible and thick. The four pieces are glued together and shaved down further. Like that, the tip's strength will increase in every direction. It will become a titanic fishing rod. He begins to shave down the rod with a specialized tool. He has to keep in mind the balance of the rod at the time of fishing. Because of this, sensitivity and skill are required. Even slight deviations are unacceptable. He tries to picture his teacher's movements with whom he spent all those years, and one by one, he projects those movements to his own body. He joins the pieces together to get a feel. The three pieces of bamboo have joined together, and now they have transformed into a single fishing rod. He has put everything he's learned into this one rod. What will his teacher think of it? Now, it is finally about to be completed. For the finishing touches, he adds his artisan name, Tensu, to the pouch. The fishing rod artisan, Tensuo. This is the rod created by the strength of that young artisan. The skills and techniques he learned through all those years have finally come to fruition in this one rod. But the work is not yet over. The day after the rod is completed, Mr. Tatsukawa is headed somewhere with his teacher. It's a fishing pond. This is where they will try out the fishing rod. Fishing rods are not just pieces of art. If you don't actually fish with them, you won't get to experience the finish or the fishing sensation. The teacher will only give out his opinion after seeing the rod in action. Mr. Tatsukawa's rod has now gained life as a full-fledged Hera fishing rod. Now, he only needs to wait. It's finally here. His teacher looks at the rod's curvature. 
ぺんぐーっと引っ張ってきて、はいうん、なかなか公式的に、ねまあ、今風の調子にはしてあるな。俺の目から見たら約七十点ぐらいかな。七十点ですか。うん、先の方がね、どうしてもその穂先の先の方が、はい、あちょっとあの下の二番、その二番と元に比べて少し弱いというようなそういうような感じするな。何が正解かっていうのはね、合ってないようなもんなんよ。はい、春に釣りをするのか、冬に釣りをするのか、まあそれによってでも魚の動きが違うしね。あのお客さんが「うわーこの竹竿で一日面白い釣りできたな」というふうにねやっぱり思ってもらえるようなそのような竿作りっていうのがやっぱり一番大切になってくるからねあの穂先をちょっと削りすぎてたみたいで今親方に言ってもらったみたいに穂先が負けてるっていうちょっと負けてるっていうことででもこれで一つまた勉強だったんでよかったです。The path to mastery is far and steep. But Mr. Tatsukawa is steadily walking up that path. And one day he will surely make it. He will open a door to tomorrow and take one step towards his dreams.